Hello and welcome to the Edu Leaders show on the Edu Bulletin where we bring you the latest insights and trends from the world of education. I'm Jessica and I'm excited to guide you through this episode. We have an esteemed guest joining us, VK Mishra, principal of Diwan Public School, Meerut. How does bringing institutions like ISRO directly to school campuses help students stay committed to science beyond job-driven choices? Now, let's move directly into our interview. Over to you, Sonal. Let's hear what Sir had to say. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Edu Leader Show. Today, we have with us a very special guest. He is Mr. V K Mishra. He is the principal of Diwan Public School in Meerut. Welcome to the science exhibition, Sir. Thank sir, you so much. How's your experience being here, Sir? Uh, first of all, I congratulate the management of KL International, principal, and all the family members of uh, KL International, uh, hosting such wonderful academic exhibition. I would say scientifically uh, unique, and uh, in today's uh, uh, time, when we talk mm. in terms of the education, mm. this is what we are looking forward. True, the so, experiential based learning or the practical. exposure practical exposure but the best part of uh, the exhibition is hmm. uh, scientist and scientific approach raised in the school campus true mainly it happens suppose if i'm sending 5 10 children to isro maybe hmm. few more children to nasa they are visiting but when they come back their learning is only till the time when they are when the scientific approach is reaching to the campus hmm. most of the parents also must have visited yeah scientific inclination must have gone to the different level so i really enjoy it and i thank the management and the isro because now it's uh, both the ways when uh, isro is uh, coming to the campus of institutions where below 18 age children are studying mm. they are immature and immature mind captures most mature decisions so here children can uh, definitely grow in a different way so it was really amazing and unique in another way yes sir. like isro is having a very great initiative this space on wheels like they're yeah. having a bus and all yeah. the model prototypes yeah. are there in the bus so, so, especially this bus uh, i was having a very unique experience there also because most of the live models they have placed in the buses where mm. we can show our children the mm. way they are working with the scientist coach mm. yeah So, sir, my first question to you would be that how does exposure to organizations like ESO motivate both students and teachers? See, In what way? See, uh, what is our vision? Hmm. Like, if a child I am teaching who is below eighteen, hmm. and I know for next five years, hmm. child is not going to work in any institution. Hmm. He or she will continue his studies again. Hmm. So. if a university has this exposure what will happen by the time child is above 18 yeah. and after passing out they have decided i'll be going in the uh, civil services i'll be going in the other uh, services medical and other but here when isro is coming yeah. to the institutions they are motivating children not to quit science yeah. just to be- become a job full person Hmm. in today's time what happens a child who is brightest in the school op science hmm. go to btech complete his degree in btech hmm. and thereafter they join one corporate sector yeah and they lose entire connect of science yes sir so what uh, iit or engineering colleges they have given is now waste hmm. so all such institution whether it is isro hmm. uh, isc bangalore all they are trying to inculcate in brain of children that if you are studying science yeah. then it's not necessary to get job in terms of the money rather you continue your passion like in the field in of the science in the same started. field you can so you can become a scientist you can become even a person who is going in the different fields if you are not even scientist at the main stream yeah. you are in the developing stream Mm. you might be working with the scientist in the different manner there are thousands people working in uh, the is in this row mm. they are they all are not scientists mm. 
but they are having a scientific approach helping yes. scientists yes. so in other way they have the science brain in them yes if not scientists the science brain is in them yes sir. so this is where these organizations are coming and that will be beneficial for them that mm -hmm. the brightest child in science should not leave science true sir should continue in the same approach for institution yeah. we are uh, giving benefit to the children that in one go if you are not going to crack the mm. top toughest competition then come and join the research field yeah. so institution will have a kind of less pressured student in the class that will have more options available instead of going and rushing in the crowd and losing their confidence going in the depressions yeah. if they are working even average child yes, it is my uh, because you people have recently completed your education yes, so you better connect with this mm -hmm. in today's time what basically we feel is mm -hmm. that children when there is less exposure mm -hmm. they have less decision making abilities also true so we need to give them a platform where they can think more and it's off record if i say on record also if you search mm -hmm. Most of the scientists, mm. they are not toppers of their school educations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They are average, means between 60 mm. and 75. Mm. So why they are becoming scientists, even if they are average? Mm. Because they are average in degrees and mark sheets. But their brain is most developed in the mm. field of innovations. True, so sir. innovative minds always work faster and grow faster and healthier. You will not find any scientist is trying to commit suicide. Yeah. True, be sir, true, be sir. Because, because in these terms, I would say that yeah. with 75 are average percentages, yeah. 25 they are investing in their personalities, grooming and other things. So entire cohesive approach is there. Mm -hmm. So this is helping schools mm -hmm. that you will not have only one or two uh, directions to move after school education. And for these institutions, it is helping that they are motivating children not to quit science. True, sir. Sir, so what is the one take, take away you're going to get from this exhibition and a change you'll bring into your school? So, frankly speaking, hmm. at Divan Public School, Anji. and it's my second month completing tomorrow. Okay. So, uh, what I have seen in children, it's not because of me, school is working already very good. Hmm. But there are lots of children who earlier also were doing a project work. Hmm project-based assessment, mm. they are participating in innovative ideas. Even in uh, Diwan, our two models have been selected by the Ideathon and uploaded on YouTube channel, which okay. uh, is coming. Okay. And two uh, models I saw here also children mm. have. So these Ideathons, uh, the platforms uh, where they are providing, we would love to add more projects, more valuable uh, brains, of children because scientists if you see Edison and all yeah. they were in school education when they became a science scientist so most of the scientists they became from age of 12 to age of 18 mm -hmm. and this is the school education in India we are fortunate we have very very strong scientific background but we could not promote them due to some other reasons we promoted uh, most of the foreign scientists mm -hmm. but maximum scientific brain are working from India. Yeah. So I'll be not, uh, I'm not going to say no because of this particular thing. Earlier also, for all the schools, I would love to ask them and request them mm -hmm. as many students, ideathons you are going to make in your institution mm -hmm. will make our country grow together and we uh, will reduce pressure from the children's brain where they're fighting just for the marks. Thank you so much, sir. Mm -hmm. It was uh, my pleasure having you here. Like, it was a wonderful time. Thank it's you my so pleasure. Much, Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, so everyone. Thank you for joining us for this enlightening discussion. We hope you found it as insightful and inspiring as we did. Save the number 721-7070-100 and send hi on WhatsApp to receive daily educational news updates and inspiring interviews from the EduBulletin.